Okay, for the sake of consistency, we're going to do a lot of shir on uh, Lekut Tamaran. Right now, we've been learning in the Pasha, Pasha's Veschana and Shabbos Nachamu, about Moshe Beinu, Sefer Devarim, Dor Bo Ba'aretz, the generation that come to the land, Veretz Kodesh. We've also been learning about the union of the Seich, or the mindset, learning Svarim Chitzonim based or Chachmas Chitzonis based on Chachmas Elikus. And Rabbi Nachman, Ben Fager, Nachman Simcha, the Sadik MET, goes into this Nakuda, something which came up in the Siva Shalom session, the idea of going into the different levels of, of smoke, Anan, cloud. But off, well, the way I understood it back in the day with learning Kutumaran, it was very much connected to this Torah. The idea of going into the clouds of the brain. Interestingly, the there is a shir going on next door, in a frat. Pitti Alachis. It's quite a chev there. So we have a lot of light of Rabbi Nachman here in, in a frat. And this, for me, was one of the foundational Torahs I learned in Reza Meir Sharim. I think I learned it in the pre Nates minion, um, the, the pre Nates learning, excuse me, of, uh, of Nasser Maimon. In the Kutumaran, also I think we've gotten as well a combination of the two of them, this concept and uh, another year there, Shlomi, Lip, Lippy, Lip, Lipschitz, yeah. <coughs> Between those three, we, we learned this concept about going into the brain to find the Elakus, going into the frog, the, flo- the, the tremendous fog, you know, if you're from England, fog is something you know about. Concept of being able to go and seek out the Chochmas Elakus. Within the Chachmas Chitzonis, to go through that is something which we all have to deal with, especially nowadays. So, the way it connects to this Torah, you mentioned that you have to guard your Seichu from Bas Paro. That is to have Chashlemus of Chachma. We learned this last time, and the Bas is, is remembers to Ein Yishavadas, it's the opposite of Yishavadas. Um, the 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 arm is being constantly disturbed, distractions. This is a big sign for our door, probably one of the biggest. And the fact that anyone's focused on Yiddishkeit, Bachlau, is a miracle considering the amount of distractions. There's an link to Daf Yomi and from Rabbi Stefanski, the concept of consistency, Yom Yomi, the concept of learning no matter where, what, every day, whatever zman, even mostly Tishu B'av, learning. Every time, especially now we have the summer months coming to a close, the idea of the nights get longer. Two ba'av, we were learning Zer Shimshon, the idea of extending our learning into the night. This is what we learn that the, the external wisdom, says Rabbi Nachman, in Torah, Lamid Hay, Sif Aleph, the Hoch Mishchitsonis, this is the aspect of Kona. Yesh Kona Bekadusha, Yesh read Bekadusha, Heim Hoch Mishchitsonis. These are holy chokhmas. Kamosh Kosov, Kone Chokhma. Everyone should try acquire Chokhma. Yeah, Zer Lutma Zer, what's the opposite? Our Sir Alakim, that Shem made everything balanced. And a Kone Shiva Klippus, there's the reed of Klippus. Kamosh Kosov, Nara Chayas Kone, Him Chokhm Schitsonis. The way he translated, this is like the wild animal Kone, which represents Chokhm Schitsonis. Uh, we can understand nowadays that without explaining it too much. We just, you know, go on YouTube or any, any God forbid, any social media site or anything, and you just see it um, there. It's been Messias, it's just everywhere. I think Rove of the internet is filled with this. Yisrael, Haim Am Kodesh. Yisrael, we are a holy nation. Kol Echad Be'echad Yisrael. And every one of Yisrael, Yisrael Chele Kalakam Imao, has a godly neshama. The godly portion. This is the aspect of Chachma. Because we learned last time the idea that Hashem makes everything with wisdom. So we have Rashis as well. Kodesh as well. The Hashem, Rashis. We are known as the Rashis. And then we have Rashis Goy Mamalek. The opposite. There's always this balance in the world. The time of giving birth, the seichel is is very much constricted, according to everyone. Like we have the sefer in Hebrew in Bresov.org, 
the Kuti Maharan. We also have an uh, English version. And uh, right now I'm looking at the Hebrew. And we can go into all the Perishim underneath from Rav Chaim. And the Biaschus for him and for everyone. But um, I'm just, I want to just try first get through the text. And we'll, we'll, maybe we'll come back to a deeper explanation of Fida Zman. So, Tchilen Lashtamesh Bo, his boneness of Vodas Hashem Yisbarach. And we need to begin with what to mishtamish with the seichel. Everyone has his seichel to think deeply in the Vodas Hashem Yisbarach. So everyone needs to use their seichel more and more for Vodas Hashem. And this was something which I remember hearing from Rav Yehuda Samet, Shkiyach of Osemech, I had discussed the Lema for many years, but or there was a few of us, a little Chabura, and I was still in touch with him, Baruch Hashem Ad Mevesim. So he would say over from Avigdor Miller, and I remember even hearing a similar thing himself from Avigdor Miller from the tapes back in the day, the concept of that many Yidin can live like Jews. You know, we have the concept of living Jewish in terms of, uh, you know, we're talking about the Chabad thing, but the concept of external, like we have a Yiddishkeit, well, the whole way of life, and huggers, the minhag, the community aspect, people talk about it, it's very strong. And then, I mean, most people can do that, it's not so hard, you know, you take on the things, if the bat tshuva can do it, a gear can do it, you know, you can fit in if you, if you work, I mean, somewhat, you know. Then you have the concept of, so that's your action, then there's your speech, your speech is already a much more refined way of being. And we see nowadays, including myself, that we've all been influenced by the speech of the streets or the way we use phones. Like instead of saying thank you, TY, or everything abbreviated in some form or another, FYI, and all this stuff. Instead of just communicating with with lucidity and the way, like, say, Rabbi Jackson speaks, tremendous elucidation, or, or the Tamimus, like a breast of a... We, um, we have all kinds of ways of speaking. It's not so Jewish, but somewhere, somewhere in the middle there, most of us are not really speaking the full way. The ideal Sadiq or Yid, which says, Chochmah B'Piv, the way we've been learning in the Kutumaran is high level. And then we get to the level of thinking like a Yid. Now, this is even harder. And then, as we're seeing from here, this takes a lot of his boneness. He, he brings this lotion of... Chabad, we concept of its boneness. It's not just a Chabad concept. It's not just a breast of a concept of its boneness. Everything is by Siddiquim is there. It's this boneness, but Vodas Hashem is this the to increase his seichel by working hard and thinking into the Torah, as it says by Chochma Shlomo, Moshekos the Torah Chochma Shlomo, that he would increase his Chochma Shlomo. So Shlomo Melech was an example, the son of David Melech, who would constantly. Um, increase his chokhmah in order to ma'ayat the chokhmah's chitzonus to, to limit the uh, external wisdom. Now this is the problem and we're all going through this and it, I, even, you know, sorry to do this Rabbi Nachman, but the concept of bringing, say, someone like Joe Rogan, he's fully aware of this concept because we're all overwhelmed by information. It's a data overload um, ben Shapiro talks about it as well. I know I'm bringing people that you'd say more connect to Hoch Chesonis, but part of the whole voter is now how to use it when we've been exposed to it or we're continuing to expose ourselves to it. Heim Hoch Chesonis as this might Kedusha Sichlo, and it reduces the holiness of the Sichlo. So both Joe and Ben both say this concept of overload of data to the point where you can't remember people, you, like if someone's famous or you're busy interacting with thousands of people online, can't remember everyone and they say I met you before and you're like trying to remember because the brain only has a certain limit so it's the Dunburn law or something some sort of law of memory that you can only remember say 150 people in your close sphere of influence and all the thousands around there are going to be a blur generally um, like vaguely or recall or it won't be like clear now obviously we know with Sadiqim they didn't have this overload one, they probably didn't have um, access to all this data. They li- they chose not to access it all. And when they learned something, they chose what to learn. Like I have many images of the Baba Chereba who seemed to know everything, 
and being able to remember everybody and be able to connect with everyone, or Rabbi Huda Samet as well, he was able to, on, on his level, as a Meshkirk, be able to remember all the families that host for Shabbos and phone numbers and, and kept cheshbon of all kinds of money things that we were involved with and stuff like that without needing any, like, he had papers, but it, it, he hardly used them. And it, it, it was just like these notes. He really, like, just remembered everything. And even more so, Lubavit Shrebe, with Ruch HaKodesh, as a Sadiq, also Sadiq Amiti. The idea of remembering everything and recalling everything was wondrous. From 30, 40, 50 years before, it's come to the, the Seichu. I remember hearing from Nachman Bulman, the Chosim Sofa was able to continue Divrei Torahs that he told people 30 years in the past. So he'd see someone that he told a Torah to, and then all the thousands and thousands and thousands of people he met in the in-between from that 30-year meet- time of meeting, he'd see him and continue the Divrei Torah that he was on. And one of the explanations of Nachman Bulman said that Sal was the concept that when people or Torah are very important to you, when you mush of something and you're totally focused and mindful and, and present and experiencing the moment, so then you fully experience it to the point where it becomes, like like we say, uh, we've mentioned with the Luchas, it becomes like it becomes engraved on your heart, engraved in your mind, that these are important Torahs, these are important people, and therefore, if, since that's what you care about, as we're learning here, the Chochmas Elikus is what your, you know, the Elikus in every Jew, the Elikus in every learning, so that's what you internalize, that's what you're focused on, and that gives you ability to now have that kind of mind so you can recall what's important instead of all this overload that we're talking about from Ben and, and Joe where you're overloaded and therefore you can't even remember the, the facts that are necessary. Now Ben ha- happens to have a, an, an incredible intelligence in that and his ability to remember names and, and legal realities and all kinds of things. Imagine if his mind was fully enveloped in Torah, what kind of, you know, person he would be but you know this is not our generation we're having to deal with all these chachmas chitzonas we have to figure out what to do about it so that's the problem it's coming inside your mind that takes up the place of chachmas chitzonas <coughs> inside this holy seichel that you have the chachma chitzoni who needs betoch a seichel kodesh kekana so we will have the image from the gemara that when Gabriel came down, the Malach Gabriel came down, the famous Gemara in Megillah, I think, came down and made a krach. It was like a city. How did he make it? He put a kone in the yam, and this is what formed Italy. Now, we all know what Italy and Sicily look like. It's like a foot and a ball. And that's Asa, where Asa became, continued to grow from that. That represents the concept of the Hochum Saxonis growing, expanding. So you plant it, you allow it in your mind for whatever, or you're exposed to it, like our generation, we're exposed to it on and on. And then it slowly takes a hold on your mind and it expands. It takes over until it becomes this whole nation, this evil nation of, of Rome, of Asav, and takes, starts to take over the world like they did and destroyed the second base of English. The base of English of Shlomo Melech, built originally, gets destroyed from the Bas Paro, from the Chochmas Chesonis, and all the way back from there, when he married Basparo, so connecting himself to Chochmah's Chisonis, suddenly, he, even though he was trying to increase Chochmah of Kedusha, suddenly the, had, had had a hold, and even if it took time, first base of English, second base of English, to hundreds of years, until it expanded enough to destroy the second base of English and take over the, the world on some level, of, and like in an inner level, take over the mind of people of Chochmah's Chisonis. This is the concept. So now you're lacking in a place of holiness. Are you days a corner through this corner? I knew was there. Seichum is lacked him. Is chabim kol midas ras uguna, and this seichu is gathering together all the not good uh, midas, the bad midas, and the disgusting midas. It's bringing them all together. And this is this corner. You talking about me again? No, we're learning Kitty Maron. I'm actually recording right now, so just okay. just gonna. Try try uh, finish this concept to at least get to the next sif in the Kitimaran. So we did our weekly learning. I would have preferred to have my holy chavrisas who I usually learn this with, but um, you know this is like still somewhat a schedule for some people. 
So they went over to make a shout out to all of them and dedicating the learning once again to the soldiers, Bakhtar and Mesha, and Azza, we shouldn't forget, having to do our clean up for us. And Zesh and this other Shlomo, it's Bas Para. So it says Rabbi Nachman that Shlomo married Bas Para. This is Hachmas Ritzonis, as we mentioned before. Yoid Gavriel, Noet's Kone. At that moment, Gavriel, the Malach, the angel, planted a Kone Biyam. Hanan Shagam Lamala, Mishtash Lesugavoyus. And this is this, this deep concept that from above there was an ishtashlis, like a, I, I have different ways of explaining ishtashlis, but this chain, chain of descent of Gavuris, of the side of the left, uh, which is where Asaph comes from. Shazel Bechines Yored Gavriel. And this is the aspect of Gavriel descended. So even though Gavriel is a Malach, and obviously Malach is, is Kodesh, especially, you know, Michal Gavriel, these are holy Malachim, but he had to perform a task for Hashem to bring down the Gavuras, even in his name. It's hinted the concept of the Gavuras. And he's going down. Genesis Sufisa the Hab. So he brings, I think this must be either from the Gemara or from Chazal. Um... We're looking underneath now. Sige Hazav. Oh, yeah. It was gold dross. Because to have is, is Aramaic for, for gold. So the Dalet becomes a Zion in, in Lashon Kodesh and the Aleph is a hey. So it's the idea of, of gold. Susa, the dross. The dross, the Dahav. Hanabachin is Klippus. Shehem Chochmis Ritzonis. So this is a dross. It's not the pure part of the gold. It's the the, imp, the like the not impure, but the leftover part of the gold. And this planted in the yam of chachma. Now we have a big sadik, the yam of chachma, of Morgenstern Swarm, yam of chachma. But that once again, that's chachma's kabbalah. It's based on Pnimius Torah, that's chachma salakus. This is chachma of going into the yam of chachma. And planting a kone, which is now trying to take over, like it spreads out like a virus, a mind virus. We see that nowadays, it's mind virus, a woke mind virus. This concept it just spreads like wildfire through the media, through the technology, into the minds of people. And it's like a mind virus, literally, like it's like a disease. It spreads, and grows like the whole craft, the city of Ace of Rome, spread in the yam, became Italy and Sicily and took over. The, the land and then eventually the worlds of Chochmas Chetzonis, and that's what happens within people's minds when they plant these kone, this, this external Chochmah. And this has all happened, began, the root of it was when, because Rabbi Nachman always gets to the Shorish, happened when Shlomo Malach married Bas Paro, which represents Chochmas Chetzonis, marrying Chochmah Panemius, and Shlomo Malach was Chochmah Panemius. And, and uh, that's when, even though it didn't take over Shlomo at that moment, and it didn't take over the world at that moment, but it was planted and slowly. And this is what you have to understand. It's not about the short term. It's always about the long term, the long game. You have to always think long, long game in your life. Like when you make decisions, like we're talking about living, where to live in Eretz Israel. You think where's going to be the place where you can develop yourself the most in Yiddishkeit or in Ruchnius and Panimus and learn how to think like a Yid, be with people that are... Uh, on a similar voda of of Yiddishkeit and Avos Yisrael, Avos Torah, Avos Hashem, the long term. If you think short term, then the the Yitzhar is already planning his plan or her plan, however you want to call it, and I mean, and then we're under attack on some level, like it's a slow process of change. It's not, you know we always used to joke in our house, la la, you go off the dirt slowly, slowly. Yeah, obviously you know. The way we've been learning in these Torahs of Peter Moran is a much bigger derech than we think. So Rabbi Nachman is going to help us stay to the Chochmas Panimius the, and give us the tools to deal with this Chochmas Ketsonius. Shemachas and Mokim Kedusha. So it starts taking over the holy space. And what happens we start getting all these not good attributes. Alav Nivne Krach Godol Sharomi. And then gets built this huge city of Romi. And that was the the first snake of the creation, which caused the whole downfall of Odom. And that's manifested through the goddess of Esav, which we're still in till now. Uh, 
Kroch Echad Kedusha. So instead of Shlomo Melech bringing Mashiach when he married Bas Paro and trying to elevate the Chokhmu Sinus, it ended up planting the whole downfall of Amisrael, which was the whole goddess Asa, which was still in this long goddess, thousands of years, and it's turned into, transformed into a, a marriage between Asa and Ishmael, which is God, so it's also goddess Ishmael, and we're still dealing with this wild man through the Chochmas Chesonis that's overwhelming the world. And what we see now, they just take the concept of the book joining Ishmaelim. It's like Esav joining the, the uh, Ishmaelim together. And we see this marriage of these, this external way of wisdom joining together with wildness, which is both, both connected, brings all these not good meters, protests and negativity and, and killing and murder and all the stuff we're dealing with nowadays. And on this name, this big city, So Amen. You know, people could blame the the Enlightenment, you know, that time period. You could you could look for the cause of where all the external forces started getting such a hold. But the real panemis is according to the Gemara and, and look at Tamaran is it was all begun at the time of Shlomo Melech, the time when we had a base of English and we had Hochma Shlomo by him marrying Basparo, we, we it was already the root the beginning of this big city that would take over the world and become Rome and God Asasim. Shajosha Shayat Sahara Misgara B Yisrael Daika. So it says in the in the par- in the brackets that we learned from this that the Eight Sahara was bothering Israel very much, with the Onim Daika, and it was getting bigger and bigger. And it doesn't just go after the, the Yisrael, it goes specifically after Yisrael, it goes after the great ones in Yisrael, the Gedolim Daika. That's what I meant, not that it gets bigger. It means that it's going after the great ones. Who are the great ones? It's going after the rabbis more than anyone. That's who the Eight Sahara is after. And we see this around and around, even nowadays, you know, maybe even more so. We see all the Lashon Hara, God forbid, all the negativity, all the Hisnagdus. Like I was listening to Shir from Shmuel Diamond yesterday. And then after the Shir, he, he was quoting a lot, Rabbi Manus Freeman. He was venting about, you know, in a real way, about how much Hisnagdus recently Rabbi Manus Freeman has got. I mean, I've even experienced it myself. Um, because of when years ago I posted a video that people took out of context, Romanus Friedman said, Asi tov, asi tov. He was fine about it, and he gave us some sort of apology that really just clarified even more what his point, his shita was. But there were people, Mamish, out there against his growing influence and ability to give over Torah of Hasidus, of, of Chabad, and the people who hold him, like they have all kinds of issues with him about getting into Lashon or whatever they call it, a shita, an approach. They believe it's Torah, what they're saying about him. You know, it's hard for me to understand. But the point is that there's always Maklokka Siddiquim, there's Maklokka Snagdus. This is something which goes on. And the Yates Horat uses our own people to chase after each other instead of having Achdus and bringing Mashiach and doing what we're supposed to be doing. Shukrach Tamid, Ach Gudali Ador. And this Kroch Tamid is always after the, 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 the great teachers of the nation. them from other people. And whole, it all comes out from an external intellect. Because once again, who are the Gedolim? The Gedolim are Seichu Alakus. They're, they're godly Seichu. That's what they're busy with. And they don't want to be involved in all this Chetsoni, all these externalities that are going on out there. Like trying to externalize wisdom into negativity, they're trying to keep it focused on the panemi, on, on the godly spark within everything, to bring everything back to its ticket. So this is quite a difficult Torah, but I remember learning, as I said, and all the way back in Meshirim, early in the morning, this concept that we have to, f- and it connects into a Torah we just learned yesterday in Siva Shalom, we have to know, Shabbos Nachamu, there's a big Nachama, a double Nachama, that Hashem's come to us, that He's with us, even with this whole destruction that took place on Tisha B'Av, we talked about it, we learned, we cried about it. Comes Shabbos Nachamu and gives us an Achamah that Hashem is with us. And this is what the Siva Shalom says. It says, Nachamu Nachamu Ami, we're always an Ami, even with all this Nesionis, we're still with the nation, and Hashem's with us, and that's the comfort, no matter what, and Hashem is our God, no matter what. And a Yehudi is a Jew, is a Jew, 
no matter what, whatever's going on in Golas, and we are able eventually to get through the clouds and the smoke and the cover up and break through into the good elikus, even in our door with all the distractions and all the phones and all the the externalization and mind viruses, we can break through it all and get to the elikus and get to the panemius and get to the soul. And everyone should be blessed with a Shabbos of Nechama. We should have Nechama from the Horban that took place and in not just in, in the time of the temples, the base of English, but all the way till now, what's going on on an inner level, we have to understand the shorish, the root of it, and connect ourselves to the godly spark, and the godly, and the chachma el the panemius of what Hashem wants us to do. We have a beautiful Shabbos, Veschana, and Moshe Ben is leading us, teaching us how to daven, giving us the Shnei Luchas, and with that, with the second Luchas, we understand there's always hope, there's always ability to come back into tshuva, the whole Elo, the whole time period coming up is a preparation for the for the recovering the second Lucas. We have an opportunity right now, even in Chodesh Av, with Tuba Av, to renew our connection and be to a beautiful Shabbos Nachamu. Amen.